Preacher, love you. All right, look in your Bibles, the book of 2 Samuel chapter 16 this morning. 2 Samuel chapter 16. I appreciate the preaching, the Word of God we've already heard. Amen. And I tell you, that cranked my tractor up. I help me. Uh, you can't go wrong magnifying, bragging on the Lamb of God. Amen. And I'm glad I know Him and He knows me. Amen. And while we are acting the way we do, it's because we know for sure we're holding fast that prophet. We know. Amen. There's a lot I don't know, but I do know this. My name's written in his book. I'm heaven bound with the hammer down. I have no regret about getting saved. I'd rather be in the house of God on the Friday morning at any place I know. Amen. And to be in here and have his presence. Amen. That he would look at us, all oh, rotten sinners, that he forgave because of that blood and let us be here and then say, I'm going to hang around with them. Amen. I bless his name for that this morning. I thank him and praise him and I do ask you to pray this morning the Lord to touch us. Amen. This is what's been on my heart for several days and I want to try to exhort you. I have one message for the men and women in the kitchen. Ready or not, here we come. Amen. Second Samuel chapter 16 beginning in verse number one. The Bible says and when David was a little past the top of the hill behold Ziba the servant Mephibosheth met him with a couple of asses saddled and upon them two hundred loaves of bread and a hundred bunches of raisin and a hundred of summer fruits and a bottle of wine. And the king said unto Ziba what meanest thou by these? And Ziba said, The ashes be for the king's household to ride on, and the bread and summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine that such as be faint in the wilderness may drink. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you Lord today for your mercy and for your grace. I thank you Lord Jesus that you love me enough that you went to the cross shed your blood gave your life was bad but thank God you rose again under your own power in a body a glorified body. I pray now for just a little while you'll strengthen my voice and give me strength in my body. I pray for unction of the Holy Ghost. Help me to be a blessing and a help out to your people today and everything you do will praise you and will thank you for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen, you can be seated. I've read to you, no doubt, some familiar verses in 2 Samuel chapter 16. Now I want to get your mind in the setting of what's happening here in the life of King David. These verses are taking place under the rebellion of his own son, Absalom. Absalom was a devil. That's all you can say about it. He had a heart that was for himself and nobody else. Matter of fact, in chapter 14, you see the pride of Absalom. He's beautiful, the Bible says. and He's got long hair and he had these men and horses and chariots that would run before him. He was lifted up in himself. But then in chapter 15, you see the plot of Absalom. He was after his father's throne. And we find that Absalom was sit, hang with me. I want to help us today. We find he goes down by the gate and he sees those coming for judgment. And he tells him, nobody's here. How to help you. But if I was a judge, I could surely help you. I want to say something you folk here that are saved. You're the cream of the crop. Most on morning services are folk who are saved. Love God. You be careful about that crowd that tries to pull you away I'm from the man of God that pulls you away I'm from the house of God hey I'm telling you this morning there's some absalom's that come along in our lives oh and the Bible says that he stole the hearts 
of the people of Israel. And then he lies to his father and talks some religious talk. Boy, they, they can do that well. Oh, I need to go down there and pay my vows. Amen. I, 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 can I, I want to say this. If anybody begins trying to draw you away from your man of God, I think there's three things you ought to do. Number one, you ought to tell them to shut up. Amen. Number two, you ought to let your preacher know what to say it and who said it. Amen. And number three, break fellowship and pull away from them. Amen. Hey, that's why today how that we are gathered to see what God's got in his book. And friend, be careful, I friend, that the devil doesn't come in and steal away at the hearts of the people. Oh, friend, that we see then that David gets word that Absalom is on the attack and he has to flee in the middle of the night. And as they leave, they go down out through the Kidron Valley and the, he's barefooted and his head's covered and he's weeping and his household is weeping and those who are with him are weeping. They are broken hearted at the rebellion of Absalom. But then we come to verse 1. Of 2 Samuel 16, and the Bible says, and when David was a little past the top of the hill. And I want to preach this morning, God helping me, on a little past the top of the hill. I understand and I say again, I'm very thankful for the presence of the Lord in this place today. But I got enough sense to know this. There are Christians, deacons, Sunday school teacher, have preachers who are here this morning and hell is on your trail. Everything seems like it's hit rock bottom. Everything seems like it's a going bad. But can I exhort you I can I encourage you if you go just a little past at the top of the hill if you won't throw in the towel if you'll just keep going if you'll just be faithful at a little past at the top of the hill friend when David got there there was the servant and he had some stuff just for David I'm going to tell you this morning if you'll keep going I just passed the top of the hill how the Lord I'll have some things that'll help you today. You say, preacher, what are they? Well, three and I'm done. Number one, a little past the top of the hill, there was a ride. The servant had those asses saddled and was waiting on them a little past the top of the hill. Oh, friend, David, understand, barefooted, feet bruised and bleeding as he walks through the Kedron. I waited down, ashamed and discouraged at what Absalom's had done. But when he got a little past the top of the hill, there was a ride. Oh, I'm glad for the times when they've been dark and dreary and I didn't throw in the towel, I kept going and I found a ride. What kind of ride? It was the grace of God. For the grace of God is a burden bearer. You say, preacher, I'm ready to quit. Would you just go a little past out the top of the hill and he'll say, mount up. Amen. Get up on grace and let grace carry you a while. I want to tell you, I can tell you from firsthand experience, if you just keep a going, how there's a ride, how the Holy Ghost will say God's grace is still sufficient for you. Oh, you can mount up on grace. Oh, the reason I'm here the reason you're here, the reason we're still in this thing is the grace of God is still carrying us. Amen. Grace has brought me safe thus far. And grace 
Well, get me home. Oh, friend, today, you say, preacher, you don't, I don't understand. But I know this, a little past the top of the hill, there's grace that you can ride on. Oh, yes. Let me say all that. Number two, I told you I'll be fast. Not only is a ride, but there's refreshment. There's bread and summer fruit and whoa. Oh, hey, grace is always comes loaded. Hey, Amen. Great God in heaven. I, oh, that's a doing something down on the inside of me. Oh, grace is loaded today. Oh, we refer, hey, hey, hey. Oh, bless his name. Hey, grace, I'll give refreshment out of your soul this morning. Oh, yeah. He said those that are needing that strength of the journey. I've got just what you need. You know what these preachers have been doing this morning? And the servants sent them by and they got bread under their arm and they're saying eat this I take a bite of this it'll give you strength for the journey it'll keep you from giving up it'll help you make it out to the other side oh I can't tell how many times in these kind of services that I've been receiving the bread from heaven's oven help me Whoa, oh, and feed yourself. Oh. oh, yeah. Matter of fact, I think I could do that like this right now and go, and I, I smell it fresh. It's great God in heaven. It's fresh out of the oven. Hey, hey, hey. I'm telling you, the bread's on the table. Hey, there's refreshment for your soul in the house of God today. Oh, thank God for bread that comes from grace. Amen. Oh, this book, this book, it does something on the inside. The darkest hour, bread. His, in your deepest valley, there's bread. There's bread. Oh, from one bag or to another. Let me tell you, there's bread. Down at the house of bread. Hey, hey, hey. I'm saying today, there's some strength, some refreshment for you. Oh, my. Just a little past the top of the hill. I see him weeping and a sobbing. But later on, David writes Psalm 23. I think it happened a little past the top of the hill when it got in his heart. He's the lifter up of my head. Can you see him? They're fleeing. Their heads are covered. His head's hanging low and he's weeping. But a little pass. A little pass. He felt a hand out of the glory world. Reached down into time and into tragedy. And said. <laughs> oh yes. Just pick your head up. Oh, hey, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I'm glad a little pass at the top of the hill, and there's refreshment for your soul. Oh. Oh. Have you ever had him come by and just lift your head up? When you said, I can't walk another step. When I can't say another word. Thank God and the Lord will lift up your head. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless 
bless his name. Oh, my soul. And all of this within me. Oh, he's a lifter of my head. A little past the top of the hill. There's a ride. I'm riding today. Giddy up, Grace. He said, reach your hand down that bag. Get you a bite. Here's you some fruit out of the land of Canaan. Let the milk run all over you. Oh, yes. There's a ride. There's a free. Number three. There's rejoicing. For he said, there's a bottle of wine. For those that are faint and weary, I want to tell you something. It is possible in this kind of service, and God's got you boxed in, and you don't feel what everybody else is a feeling. That's true. Here, I ain't about to tell you if you ain't feeling what I'm feeling, you're not right. I ain't telling you that. Because I've been in these services, and God was working in my life, had me boxed in. But I found... A little past, a little past the top of the hill. Oh, it may have been barren for a while. It may have been a while since him joy bells run. It may have been a while since he shouted to victory. I was just a little past at the top of the hill. And the shout of return. And there'll be joy again on the inside of you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm enjoying this. I hope it's a helping you like it's a helping me. Amen. Hey, we're here today to get something to get us over the top. Amen. Oh, my soul. Amen. I got this wild wild. But I'm liking it. And if I get too overcome, I'll lay down and get up in a while. Amen. Oh, preacher, you cares me. No. I've been saved. Holy Ghost lives on the inside. I'm sealed to the day of redemption. I'm as sure as there. I'm sitting in heavenly places this morning. Oh, friend. Hey, don't give up. Don't quit. Don't compromise. Keep going for just a little past the top of the hill. They'll be rejoicing. I've been through those times like every preacher. Hit rock bottom. I tried to do as Preacher Fletcher preached last night. Please, I ain't breaking them, but I'm just telling you. I try to go to church, and no matter how I feel on the inside, I try just to smile. And I try to get with the singers while they sing. I try to get with God's men while they're preaching. If I'm not feeling nothing, I'm just going to say, Preacher, Preacher. Amen. Hallelujah. Feelings or not. Amen. I've been on the bottom. And wonder will I make it. But the Holy Ghost said, just go a little further. Take a few more steps. Oh, I'm telling you, I was in a little bit of a dry spout. I told in last year. Other people didn't know it. I just do like I always do. Well, I'm telling you what, I was a dying on the inside. But one morning during our jubilee, they got to singing, and I got lost in what all was going on. I went to holy dancing a little bit. My folk call it the Shelton Shuffle. I just get beside myself and just shout it out. I'm telling you, it was good. And I found just beyond the top of the hill that the joy bells will ring again. Amen. Hang around. Don't give up. Yes, sir. 
I don't know where you're at spiritually. I don't know this. I've been here for a few days. It's been helping me. I'll come get in. I don't care what they preach, what they say, what they look like. I'm saying, God, whatever you got, I'd like to get it. Amen. If it's a prayer, if it's a song, if it's somebody shouting, it's fill off them. I'm all right with that. I'll shout off of you too. I don't care. Amen. Oh, if you just keep going. Please, please. Understand. You know what the Lord's doing right here today? He is picking your head up. He's your shield. He's your sword. He, he, he's the glory. He's ever. He said, just look up to me. Look up. Look at him. So that's what them, Brother John, Brother Jeremy did. So they said, look up. Look at him. Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Oh, hey, look up at him. The one that's faithful, look at him. Amen. Amen. Oh, friend, just a little past the top of the hill. Could be for you today. It might be Sunday. It might be next month. But if you just keep going, bruised, battered, bewildered, sad, heartbroken and burdened down, a little past the top of the hill, there'll be a ride. There'll be refreshment. There will be rejoicing. A little past the top of the hill. Father, take the message, use it for thy honor and thy glory. I've tried my best to obey you this morning. I thank you for lifting up my head. Thank you, Lord, for the ride. Lord, thank you for the ride. I bless your name. Help us, Lord, in these hours to honor you till you come. In Jesus' name, amen.